Hello and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a reading for the Cancer personality for the week coming up May the 15th of April. What's that? <laughs> Not May. Monday the 15th of April. Don't know what month it was. <laughs> um, yes, so 15th of April, week commencing. So looking at the general like sort of themes and energies of the week and then some potential challenges, things to look forward to and guidance to navigate the week ahead. So without further ado, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the cards. I pulled them already. I've used the Alistair Crowley Thoth deck. Um, if you like this deck, it, the description is in the link below so you can have a look and get some for yourself. Um, and yes, yeah, so I will show you the general themes that are coming up first and then we'll talk about them a bit more. Okay, so first of all, we've got five of discs, worry. So just having a look at it yourself, seeing what comes through intuitively. Then we've got the hanged man. Again, see what comes through for you. I always think it's really important to trust your own intuition and to take whatever resonates and leave the rest. And finally, Princess of Discs. Okay. So, these are the themes. So the first thing, I'm gonna start with the Five of Discs. Um, now, I wanna start with this because I think that, again, like some cards, like people get a bit like, oh, that doesn't look good. Or, you know, there's a kind of labeling things as good and bad. And I always think it's more just like, think of it like a heads up or think of it as like getting to know the weather and then being prepared for that weather, right? So yes, there might be challenges, but if we're prepared for it, then it's not going to be so bad, right? It's like having an umbrella when it's raining or something. <laughs> um, so with this card, I actually like think it's quite, I'm getting quite a positive sort of feeling from it. Um, because when I look at the card, I notice that there's all of this lovely gold behind, like there's, yes, there's a metal sort of maybe heavy energy but underneath it there's all this like gold like kind of seeping in and to me what it feels like is that there might be a little bit of con you might be feeling concerned about something like for some of you it feels like again this is not for everybody but for some of you it feels like you've been worried about worried right about maybe some work stuff because it's discs discs is rules the sort of like earthly world it's like the um, 3D reality, so you can think of it the same as pentacles, um, which also represents the earth. So there's maybe been some worry here in something in your material world. So that's sometimes like financial worries, sometimes that can be job worries, um, and sometimes maybe it's your physical home, but it's something physical. So there's maybe been a little bit of worry or there's there's some stuff on your mind. It feels like there's been things playing on your mind a little bit. But I think what's always really important to know is that whenever there's fives in the tarot, the sixes follow. So the five is usually at some point um, in the journey where things are a bit challenging, but then the six is like the victorious sort of like next step. So in tarot, the six of discs or six of pentacles, if you're looking at traditional tarot, like the Rider Waite deck, um, the, the card is of success, right? So sometimes it's like the necessary sort of like uncertainty that comes before success. So if you are feeling this energy, just keep that in mind. I think that's important to remember that like, Sometimes this stuff like success follows afterwards and it's only temporary, okay? That is if this resonates for you. Okay, and then in terms of more like themes that are coming up, so we've got the hanged man here. And to me, it feels very much like you're being asked to surrender. So again, there might be something here where you're, again, not for everybody, but where you might be feeling sort of quite attached to something, like wanting something to work out or, be, or wanting some sense of certainty potentially and you're asked, being asked to surrender and, and actually what I'm hearing honestly is let God in. 
So for some of you, it feels like maybe getting more in touch with your intuition, going within and like listening to what your inner guidance is trying to tell you at the moment. It feels like that's really important, actually, like rather than like looking outwards for answers, it's about going inward and being like, I actually do have the answers within me. And there's something about surrendering to that and relaxing in knowing that it's going to work out if you listen to your own inner knowing, which is actually quite a nice message. <laughs> okay. And then we've got the princess of discs here, which again, like we've got another discs card. So it feels like there's something happening in your material world right now. And there's something maybe like new here because it's a princess and she's earlier on, she's younger. Um, so there's something about maybe starting something new in your material world. So it could be that there's a new job opportunity or maybe there's new money coming in or there's some kind of beginning here, maybe surrounding something physical in your world. But yeah, it really does feel like it's very um, job, fine, like career oriented, like definitely for somebody watching this. Um, okay, so I'll pop that down for now and see what else we've got because there's a few more cards here. So the next question I asked the cards was, uh, what challenges might you face this week? And here we've got the nine of discs gain. So have a look at that first, just see what comes through to you. To me, it feels like there might be a struggle to see what is the bounty that is already here. Like if you're kind of in your head, being in your head a little bit and kind of worrying, it might be hard to see what the the beauty that is already here like this is a venus card you see the venus glyph there venus in virgo actually um and venus is very much about beauty so with it being what are the potential challenges it might be that there's some struggle here to see like oh actually like i've got you know some some cool stuff going on like there might be a need to try and like do some gratitude practice or something. Like I do it a lot because it, it really helps me actually. Um, just to sort of remind myself, you know, like actually things are pretty great. Because <laughs> um, I'll forget quite often, we get so caught up in our lives that we just forget to see like all the beauty that is here. Like maybe there's this feeling of I need to have something figured out going forward. Like, cause, cause I'm seeing this sort of like this worry and stuff. Like maybe there's like, I need to control something and I want things to work out and I want things to be figured out but it's like actually you're being asked to go to surrender to go inward and to um see the beauty that is already here because that's how manifestation works like it feels like there's something here about manifestation um that you're trying to manifest something but the way that we do that is by being the vibrational match of that which we are trying to bring in. So if we're sort of getting caught up in lack and scarcity, which is so easy to do as a human being, that we actually kind of repel the thing that we're trying to bring in. Um, so focusing on gratitude and and like being looking at what is already here that's actually working out might be a really helpful thing this week. Well, it's always helpful, to be honest, but... Yeah, okay. Um, and then the question I asked the cards next was, what things can we look forward to this week for Cancer Personality? And here we have got the Six of Cups Pleasure. So I was like, oh, that's lovely, isn't it? <laughs> um, yeah, and again, this really speaks to, like, we are just talking about manifestation. I think that the how we manifest things is through... Um, recognizing what is already like here and fabulous <laughs> don't know why I'm using that word that's interesting um and to tap into our pleasure so there might be some opportunities here to have like like more fun and like that being a way of like getting into that vibrational match in frequency to sort of attract things in at, to get what we want if that makes sense so it feels like, the, in terms of things to look forward to, like there could al also be some s sort of stuff here around maybe being a little bit more playful and a little bit like more 
silly and sort of like childlike almost like six of cups often gives me that energy of like being quite childlike but to but sometimes I get a sexual energy from this as well. It depends. Um, so for some of you, it might be more like getting into more of your like, yeah, like sort of sexual energy and like turn on energy of just like zest for life. And for some of you, it's just more being like childlike and innocent and playful and just like get, that's how we get into that sort of state. Um, and yeah, how we manifest more what we want to bring in and also how we kind of get into a more state, like state of gratitude and enthusiasm. Again, it's like these higher vibrational states like enthusiasm and gratitude can be super duper helpful. Okay. So then we have got, um, for the last question I asked, what is the guidance for the week ahead? And here we've got six of wands victory. So actually we've got a couple of sixes here. Like, so like we talked about in the beginning, um, sixes are like a, usually like a, a really sort of, again, I don't want to think of cards as positive and negative because I think it's a misunderstanding of the cards, but it's a point where there's some kind of success. So yeah, victory. So with it being a guidance question, it, I feel like it's like, remember to... <laughs> Remember to sort of be grateful and like act like you already have the success that you want is what it feels like. So if you've been worrying, then it's like, I don't like the expression like fake it till you make it because I don't think it is that, but it's more like be it until you become it, right? So it's like be the victorious person and this stuff will come. Like there's definitely something about like wanting to call something in and wanting to like oh, I just want it so much but like that's what's pushing it away like for some of you um and trust me I know how, that feeling <laughs> so yeah being with it being a guidance question you've also got here just on the card um Jupiter in Leo so Jupiter is about abundance it's about optimism it's about being jovial it's quite light and Leo quite a fiery sign it's a leader so there's something here about like being the leader like stepping into that sort of like jovial leader actually is kind of what I'm getting and like being the good, seeing the good, hearing the good, like that's very Jupiterian. Um, so with it being a guidance question, it's like stepping into that sort of Jupiterian energy of like, everything is kind of great. Like, look at all this bounty. Like that's, I think I've said that like five times at this point, but that's really like the message <laughs> that's coming through. Like looking around in your environment, even like the most simple things, just like this coffee tastes amazing. Like, I love this. I'm so grateful I get to sit and drink this. And like, isn't that so nice that I have this like five minutes to do that? And like little things like that, like really do make such a big difference in terms of our manifesting power. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull some more cards just for a little bit of guidance for cancer personality. And um, I'm going to use the Work Your Light deck by Rebecca Campbell. Okay. So a bit more guidance for cancer, please. For the week, Monday the 15th. Give it a good old shuffle. Ooh, hello. Ooh, interesting. Okay. One more. Oh, there it is. Okay. I'm also going to look at the bottom of the deck. All right. So first card we've got here in terms of some additional guidance. Council of Light. Divine orchestration helpers in the subtle realms. So asking for help. That's really what this card is saying. Um, if you've been struggling... If you are feeling a bit like, I dare say like alone, like some of you, maybe you feel a bit alone with your stuff right now, feeling a bit like weighed down, just because again, with this sort of card here and with this, this density at the front, there is a little bit of heaviness for some of you. 
So asking for help. And this card in particular speaks to calling on your spirit team. So I wonder if there's something here we talked about with this card of like going inward and going like, sorry, <laughs> um, sort of trusting your inner guidance and asking what's my inner guidance and listening to your intuition. And within that practice, like calling in helpers, look at the spirit team here, right? Calling in your guides, helping you out, asking for help to help lead you towards whatever it is that you're trying to go towards. Like, don't forget that you're not alone. And this could also be in the real world too, like with, you know, friends, family, like asking people for help. Um, and then we've got here, align your life. What is not aligned or needs to change? So this doesn't feel like it's particularly come up in the tarot reading, but there might be something here about like whatever it is that you're trying to bring in, because it does feel very much like that's something that's happening right now. Um, some things need to be cleared before that happens. So clearing out, like maybe doing like literally a clear out of your house. Um, it could be more like whether it's physical, whether it's more mental sort of like thought processes and like clearing out like emotional baggage and doing some sort of somatic work to sort of help heal some stuff and move things through the body um to sort of help create like a clear vessel for things to start coming in so that you can get back into alignment um and then at the bottom of the deck here we've got anna grandmother of jesus seeding the light laying foundations divine plan yeah like this feels very much to me like you are in the kind of early stages of something that you're trying to bring in and it is about trusting that there is like you're it laying the foundations right and then divine plan like trusting that there is a plan that's being made for you right now so again if there's this feeling of like um, uncertainty and like I don't know what I'm trying to do here and I'm, I'm confused then like know that there is a plan in place coming for you like like it's already here like you're you're in the plan does that make sense I hope this is making sense <laughs> but sometimes we forget like when we feel a bit lost that we think like, oh, I've just been like forgotten about, but actually like there is always a plan and you are in perfect timing of that plan. Like nothing is, you are exactly where you need to be right now. And it's really trusting that when things feel a little bit confusing. Um, and just remember that, yeah, like you do, victory is on its way. It is on its way. If it has felt a little bit heavy for you at the moment. Um, so, yeah, I think that's about everything for the cancer personality. So thank you so much for watching that. I hope that was helpful. Um, if you enjoyed this, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe. If you want more content like this, subscribing is the best way to get more in your inbox. Not inbox, but you know what I mean. <laughs> um yeah, so once again, thank you so much for being here and I will speak to you all later. Bye.